Igual. ¿Cómo está el clima ahorita ahí en Juega? Fíjate que ahorita está, no está ni helado ni caliente, fresco, te voy a decir. Porque ¿Para con qué? eso que ha llovido todo el, toda la tarde, ha refrescado un poco. ¿Para qué tiempo que le pone más o menos heladito? Eh, de octubre Diciembre. hasta como en enero. ¿Y por qué tanto silencio? Pues? Sí. Ya les dio pena sí. por la teacher. Sí. Ah, la teacher los intimida. Speak English. Speak English, please. Good evening, teacher. La teacher intimidation. I can hear you. Planning a trip sin mí está. Hacemos los santos ahí. Planning a trip to Cuando ya entra la tienda. Yeah. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. How was your weekend? Relaxing? Good? Yes. Nice. Good. Great. Yeah. Short. <laughs> okay. Gracias, nice. But the good thing is that everybody here is a business people, so <laughs> you don't have to work. You don't have to go to a job. You don't have to follow a schedule. That's awesome. Well, I'm very happy to see you again. This is Monday, Monday, last week. This is our fourth week, actually. That's great. We finished this week. Yes, by Thursday. This yes, this course, yeah. this module is over. That's nice. Okay, how do you feel? Write on the chat if you feel tired, you feel happy, you feel hungry, you feel exhausted, you feel cold. Let's see how you feel. Let's say good evening first, of course. Oh, hello. Uh huh. I feel, I feel good. I feel great. I feel happy. I feel excited. Mm -hmm. Let me see how everybody's feeling today. I feel tired. I feel sad. Why something happened? It's the last week. Ah, <laughs> but you are going to continue with the group. O sea que cuando el siguiente módulo va a ser el mismo grupo. I think so. Todos los que se inscriban. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Todos los que se inscriban. I feel great. I feel happy. I feel happy. I feel ah uh, very good. Todos Teacher, escribieron el I con mayúscula, Armando. What happened? <laughs> It's more fast. <laughs> Teacher, ¿y cuándo iniciaría el otro módulo? No les han avisado aún, pero ya mandaron lo, los documentos. Sí, pero no han mandado nada. De... Generalmente le dan como una semana break. You have this coming week for a break and then you start again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's great. Wow, nice. Good. Chair, I yes. have a question. I'm still hungry. Yes, tell me. No, no, no. Um, Leí el mensaje que le envié. <laughs> Checking messages hasta ahorita. Let me check. Uh, no, ah. yo por si sí, en algún momento de la clase se escuchan ruidos o me pongo a gritar de la nada. There's a piñera. <laughs> He's in party. <laughs> Celebrating Father's Day. Todavía están ahí donde. <laughs> ah, send cake. Share. Share is to love. Okay. I see I feel happy. I feel tired. feel happy. Tired. Hungry. Happy. Happy. Hungry. Happy. Great. Happy. Tired. Sad. 
All right. Kind of repetitive. Okay. How's the weather? Is it cold, hot, warm? Nice, cool? Okay. Not bad? No, no. Not bad. It's okay. It's warm. It's cool. All right. Great. Okay, now describe what you are wearing on the chat. Let's see. I'm wearing blue jeans. I'm wearing pajamas. I'm wearing shorts. I'm wearing actually my uniform shirt. <laughs> because of the institution. Mm -hmm. Let's see, let's see. I'm wearing white. Okay. Slippers. All right. All right. Jeans. Jeans. Sneakers. Sandals. Sandals. <laughs> All right. Anybody else? Hazel. And para la cuestión de la cara, maquillaje, se dice siempre I'm wearing. Yes. I'm wearing makeup. I'm wearing makeup. I'm wearing glass, glasses, and, and ear and earrings. 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 Oh, yes, so I'm wearing earrings too. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> because of um, the uniform, you see? I'm, I'm wearing a t shirt. Uh -huh. A pink t shirt. Light a, blue. a light blue t shirt. And pantalones de vestir. Formal pants. You can say formal oh, pants, no. slacks, or just pants. Uh, mm -hmm. Formal pants, color black. Black. And pants. sandals. And sandals, all right. Someone else? Sandra? I see Sandra wants to participate. <laughs> She's like, me, me, me. I'm wearing a great dress. Oh, wow, Sandra's always wearing dresses. She's so elegant. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you are an accountant, right? Or a lawyer? I don't understand. <laughs> what do you do? You are an accountant, a doctor, a lawyer, an artist? Um, the cocina. Cocinera. You are a chef? Sí. You work in a restaurant? Eh, eh, negocio familiar. A family business, but it's a restaurant. <laughs> sí, sí. Ah, mm, otra que no tiene que invitar a su business. <laughs> Where is the restaurant located? Mm. Or Metro Centro. Really? Sí. San Salvador, Metro Centro, San, San Salvador. Es que una vez una amiga me dice, nos vemos en Metro. Yo bien creía. Yo llegué. I'm here. Yo también me dice. But she was in Metro Centro, San Miguel. <laughs> 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 no was in Metro Centro, San Salvador. Really? What kind of food do you cook? Salvadorian food, Mexican food, Italian food. Salvadorian. Salvadorian food. Ah, yes. Is it near Sykes? No. Perdón. Está, está cerca de Sykes, el restaurant. Sí, sí, algo. Creo que he ido. <ríe> ¿Qué venden típicos y todo? Eh, no. No. Solo más que todo desayunos y almuerzos. Really? Pero esa zona sí es, es muy buena for food. Sí, for sí. restaurant. There are so many people working in call centers. So many. There's so many companies near. So you can sell a lot of breakfast, a lot of lunch. And you don't make dinners. Only breakfast and lunch. Perdón. Solo breakfast and lunch, no dinner. Sí. No, no. Mm, nice. Oh, wow. Well, what day is today? 
19. Monday. June. Monday, June 19. That's right. And what do we have for today? Well, practically, we are starting the section five. But you already started the section five and you already finished the section five on the platform, didn't you? Are going to answer the final exam that we know Yes? Okay. Yes or no? Or you are still working on section five? Well, practically the same reminders for the class to have a good environment, to have your silence button, to attendance, your full name, your camera, um, the participation in both on the microphone and the chat. Raise your hands if you want to participate or ask any question and respect each other at all times, right? The attendance against the platform, the important, the time of the class is for an hour, 60 minutes, so you must comply with those requirements, okay? And of course, this is the last week, this is the fourth week, and we are here, section five and final exam for this week. Obviously, it's the fourth week, right? But we have to complete only four classes. So one week, four classes. We finish this week with everything. Well, let's check, let's check the attendance. So everybody must be here already. Let me see. I don't see Adriana. Adriana? Present. How are you? Fine. And Great. You? Okay. <laughs> Thank you. I feel much better than last class because last class I was really sick. Nice. Alma Patricia. Presente. Hello. Good evening. Hello. Ana Beatriz. Ana, not here. Poquito le he dado. Present teacher. Hi. How are you? Okay, nice. Armando Antonio. Present. Brenda Esmeralda. Present. Cristina Michelle. Present. Okay, oh, very good. Diana Janilet, I guess. Present. Hello, good evening. Diana Janilet. Uh, Elmer? Present. Erica? Present. Fatima? Fatima, Fatima? Not here. Ready? Ready, Freddy. So we have Freddy. Present. Hello. Present. Hi, Hazel. <laughs> Present. Jocelyn Tatiana. Present. Hello. Carla Yamile. Carla. Catherine Stephanie. Present. Kevin Alexander. Kevin Alexander. Maria Jose. Present. Hello, Marisol. Present. Thank you. Uh, Melissa. Present. Nelvin. Nelvin Enrique. ¿Cómo está? Olimpia. Present. Roxana. Roxana Areli. O oh, Areli. Don't know. Ruth. Present. Elizabeth. Sandra Guadalupe. Present. Tatiana María. Present. Yadira Natalia. Present. Jocelyn Arlín. Present. Elena. Present. ¿Alguien no lo mencioné? Please. Say, you are here. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Nice. Go. Let's continue then. For today's class, we gotta start for this yeah with section five completely. 
in. Yeah, we're still with the present continuous, but mainly to name the day. Yeah, the time, time zones. This is a little bit hard to understand if you ask me. We must understand the map first. Why? Cada franco significa una hora. Okay, to start. <laughs> Primero, pero me voy a hacer algo. Mm, veamos. Acá con las figuritas, la estampa. Voy a ubicar primero El Salvador. ¿Dónde está El Salvador? A ver. Where is El Salvador? Espérame, que no me deja cambiar el color. Dice que debe ser azul y azul será. Bye. Ahí está. <ríe> no, red. <ríe> ok. Entonces estamos sobre, digamos, sobre esta franja. O sea que prácticamente tenemos la misma hora que Lima. En la franja F, ¿verdad? que Lima y que algunas ciudades en Estados Unidos, en México, eh, la misma hora es en, es en todo Centroamérica, no varía porque prácticamente una sola franja abarca todo Centroamérica. So, a menos que Panamá, ya a la colita por Colombia, puede ser que ya sea un maybe, pero no. Practically all Central America, it's, aunque no, Panamá tiene una hora de diferencia de recuerdo. I remember. Bye. Pero quizás aquí ya, al final. Bueno. Mm, aunque Lima está por acá, tal vez puede ser que one hour difference. Entonces, una franja es una hora diferente. O sea, hay una hora de diferencia. Si estamos aquí, en Central America, ¿en what time is it? It's 7.15. Mantengámoslo en 7.15 para que no nos hagamos bolas. Si aquí es 7.15 hacia atrás, va a ser una hora más temprano. ¿Sí? Yes. O sea que en Mexico City debería ser. A las 6. 6.15. Uh -huh. Y una hora hacia acá, una franja hacia acá, por ejemplo. San Juan tendría una o dos horas de diferencia. Dos. Two hours, porque hay dos franjas. Entonces, si acá es 7.15, aquí sería... 9.15. Ajá, 8.15, y aquí sería 9.15 en San Juan. ¿Yes? En Lima, en Lima si hay una hora después de 7.15, aquí sería... 8.15. ¿Yes? Entonces, así sucesivamente... Cada franja hacia acá sería, sorry, sería una hora más. ¿Yes? Y cada franja hacia atrás sería una hora menos. Así es como funciona lo de los estos horarios. Por eso es cuando nosotros decimos que alguien viene de Estados Unidos, por ejemplo, entre más para acá viene, más horas atrás estaba. Y casi que viene a la misma hora que salió, pero ya recorrió como cuatro horas el vuelo. It's, it's so crazy. Y eso mismo pasa, imagínense si nos vamos hasta Tokio. El desorden de horas que se va a hacer, ¿verdad? Porque aquí, obviamente, cada franja aumentaría una hora. So, 7.15, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Aquí sería... Una de la mañana, right? Moscow. In Moscow, in Cape Town, would be like 1 a.m. Russia, 2, 3, 4. Aquí sería like 6 a.m. already. 7, 8, 9. O sea que ahorita en Tokyo ya es como next day. It's Tuesday. Like 9 a.m. Yes. So, que vamos a hacer acá. So, one hour. But if we go back, would be seven, six. In Los Angeles, would be. ¿Qué horas es ahorita en Los Angeles? Five. Five. 
Pueden corroborar en Google. What time is in Los Angeles right now? Y así lo escriben. What time? Is in LA. LA. Now. Or right now. My goodness. ¿Qué le salió? Que la misma hora que aquí. <laughs> Local time in Los Angeles. Did you find it? Nineteen twenty. It's the same hour again. How come? Ha de ser por lo del ajuste de, how do they call it? Una hora de la atrasada, season. Ajá. Siete. Seven. Una hora atrasada que acá me Ajá, están... una hora. Bueno. Según esto deberíamos tener two, right? Pero ha de ser por el ajuste de la hora de, de, de verano. De que hace summer. Ellos mm -hmm. también tienen estos ajustes horarios. Right. Una hora. Deberían haber dos. Mexico City. Una hora. It's the same hour. The same time. Mm -hmm. Similar to El Salvador. Okay. So you have a lot of options now to check the time, of course, right? Because of technology. But in the past, we have to calculate like this, right? With a map. We have to locate the city and we have to discount like one hour for this, for each line and add an hour for each line to the right, okay? So, and it's like what? In Montreal, what time should be? Montreal is here. Mm -hmm. 22, 22. 22. 22. Yes. Yes. So it's 22. two hours. Yes. Two hours ahead, right? Mm -hmm. It should be two hours. Like one and two. Okay. New York should be two hours as well. So in New York, it's like pretty late now. Mm -hmm. In Sao Paulo and Brazil. Should be three hours, right? Three hours difference. Okay. 23, like 11 p.m.? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you. Right. So, and they, and they also have like this clock, like when they get to 12, they go 13, 14, 15, until the 24 hours, right? So that's how this works, okay? Es como funciona lo de los time zones. So, which cities are the same time zone in which cities are in your time zone? So, like we were saying, Central America should be very similar to many other cities in the U.S. Because it's like a straight line here. But then all countries in Central America, except for Panama, that they have one hour difference, I guess. Yes. But if the city of Panama is like very, very far from here, 
Okay. Well, this is just to introduce that we're going to be starting about time. Okay. <laughs> if you see that, okay, probably by the time we are here sleeping at night, people in Europe, for example, are already the next day, or people in China are in the next day. People in Japan is the next day already. Yes. So that's how the time difference, right? So there we have a conversation. What time is it there? There in the place where the other person is, right? What time is it there? So Debbie is full, I mean, definitely <laughs> sleeping. And this man is already going to work, right? So let me see. Hello? Hi, Debbie. This is Joan. I'm calling from Australia. Los que se conocen el mapa, pues Australia is here, right? Imagínense si la persona que está, está contestando from here, from the United States. So all the way here. So main lines. Me han pasado muchas horas, right? Muchas horas adelantadas. All right. So he says, hi, David, this is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? How many conferences did they remember? All right, what time is it there? It's 10 p.m. and it's four o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, four o'clock in the morning. 4 a.m.? Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay, I'm awake now. Okay, so it's like, she's not even getting up yet because it's four o'clock in the morning and he's finishing the next day. Because he is like far, far away in Sydney, in Australia. So he is finishing the day, the next day. It's 10 p.m. already. Mm. All right. <laughs> that was pretty loud. <laughs> All right. Once again, I'm going to read it. And then, of course, you guys are going to practice. Hello. Hi, David. This is Joan. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? I'm at a conference in Sydney, remember? All right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. and it's 4 o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, 4 o'clock in the morning. 4 a.m.? Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay. I'm awake now. After you wake me up, <laughs> okay, I'm awake now. All right, questions. Any question about vocabulary or pronunciation? No? Pretty easy. No questions? El nombre, ¿cómo se dice? Hi, Debbie. 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 Uh -huh, like Deborah, but it's Dutch nickname. Uh -huh. They say Debbie. Uh -huh. Like Debbie. Though. <laughs> Hi, Debbie. Like a Debbie car. Yeah, I have a question, teacher. Yes, tell me. Eh, creo que podía repetirme una vez más la pronunciación. Yeah, sure. Oh. Hello? Hello, it's like what well, we say, hello, <laughs> right? But right, say hello. <laughs> so you're really like dramatizing, hello. That would have a demo and say, hello, <laughs> hello. <laughs> All right. And they say, hi, Debbie, this is Joan. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? I'm at a conference in Sydney. Esto generalmente lo que hace la gente es unir. Ama, ama, a. I'm at a conference this um, evening. Remember? All right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. And it's 4 o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, 4 o'clock in the morning. 4 a.m.? Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay. I'm awake now. I'm awake. I'm awake now. All right. Anything else? Any other difficulty? What time is it in Australia? 10 p.m. 10 p.m. What time is it in Los Angeles? 4 a.m. 
4 a.m. 4 o'clock in the morning, right? So where is John calling from? Australia. He's from, calling from, from Australia. Australia. Uh-huh. And what is Debbie doing? Los Angeles. <laughs> yeah, she's in Los Angeles, but what is she doing? Sleep. Sleep. She's sleeping. It's four o'clock in the morning. <laughs> okay, unless I mean what time do you usually get up? ¿A qué hora se levantan usualmente? What time do you usually get up? 6 a.m. 6 a.m. Or 18. 8. 8 a.m. 8, yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> what a wonderful world. Because <laughs> I get up at 4.50. <laughs> I get up at 4 50. I'm not very happy about it because I think it's too early. I take about one hour to get to get ready. And I usually go to work around uh 5 50 and it takes me more than an hour to get to work. And I have to be at work before seven. And then I work from seven to five. I finish at five. And sometimes at five, we have a meeting, express meeting that is not necessary sometimes. And we finish, and then I come back to my house, again, one hour driving because of the horrendous traffic in San Salvador. I know. I know. We need helicopters. We need flying scooters. <laughs> Too many people have cars, so many people drive. That's why. And if you take public transportation, it's even worse because buses are very slow. Very slow. And I have to be here uh, usually at 6.30 and then I have to make myself some dinner and then I have to get ready for the class and at 8 I have to teach. So I cannot go around or, or relax and take it easy before coming here. So I have to come straight home and prepare dinner and eat quickly and then get ready. That's my life from Monday to Thursday. But on Friday, <laughs> on Friday, it's a different story. I'm still in traffic, but sometimes I don't, I don't run. I don't come fast. I just... I stop by, eat something for dinner, and then I come home. All right. And Saturday is totally different as well. All right. Time to practice. No problem. No questions. Sure? Are you sure? Let's see. I make small groups. Okay. Probably I made these small groups. Let's go. La voy a poner uh, para presentar, para que practiquemos. Uh -huh. 
¿La puede ver? Uh -huh. Ahorita acaba de. Bye. Yo soy. ¿Cuál quiere ser usted? Mm. Ahí como a practicar, vamos a ver si podemos. <ríe> usted, uh. Debbie, y yo soy John. Bueno, si no puedo pronunciar, me corrige. Está bien. Sí, yo. I am coming from Australia. Australia. I am at a conference in Sunday. Remember? Oh, right. What time is is there? It's 10 p.m. and it's four o'clock. Selling Los Angeles. Right. Yes, four o'clock in the morning. Four a.m. Oh, I am really sorry. <laughs> Ah, vaya, si quiere, que te este sigo yo. Va. Ajá. Vaya, Hello. entonces. Um, hi, Debbie. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? I'm at a conference oh. in Sydney. Remember. All right. What time is it, dear? It's 10 p.m. And it's four o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, four o'clock in the morning. Or I am. Oh, I'm really sorry. Thanks. Okay, I'm awake now. Eh, cambio ahora soy la segunda. Okay. ¿Seguiríamos nosotros? Sí, sí. Vaya, entonces yo sería Debbie en esta vez, ¿verdad? Sí. Hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I call him from Australia. ¿Australia? I'm at conference in Sydney, remember? Oh, right. Right. What, what time? Algunas palabras que sean tan difíciles. Sí, a mí me cuesta bastante esta. ¿Cómo se? Así como cuando van este. Otra vez. Comienzo. ¿Quién comenzó? Yo, usted. No, usted, usted va. Hello. Hi, David. DB. This is John. I calling from Australia. Australia? I am a conference in Sydney, remember? All right. What time is there? It's 10 p.m. and it's 4 o'clock. They're in Los Angeles, right? Yes, four o'clock in the morning. Four a.m. Oh, I really sorry. Yes, okay. I am a uh, wake no. Awake. Yes. Awake. Awake. Awake now. Demole. Ultim. Hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I call it from Australia. Australia? I am a conference in Sydney. Remember? All Sydney. right. What mm. time is it there? ¿Quién va a ser John? Catherine. Okay. 
Hello. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. This is John. I am calling from town. Sí. Okay. La última, entonces. No sé quién quiere empezar. Yo. Ay. Yo voy a contestar. Okay. I'm calling from Australia. I'm at a conference in Sydney. Remember? All right. What time is it? It's 10 p.m. and it's four o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, four o'clock in the morning. 4 a.m. Oh, I'm really sorry. All right, volunteers, raise your hand, volunteers, to say the conversation. Uh -huh. The teacher ID. Okay, Elmer is going to be John. And okay. John. Cristina is going to be Debbie. <laughs> Go. Dijeron Cristina. Sí, no. Yes. Ah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Action. Okay. ¿Quién iba a comenzar? You, because you are Debbie. And Elmer is John. Okay. Hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? I am at a conference in Sydney, remember? All right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. and it's 4 o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, 4 o'clock in the morning. 4 a.m. or oh, I am really sorry. That's okay. I wearing now wearing I'm, it out. I'm awake. Oh, I'm, I'm awake. awake now. Now. <laughs> yes. Okay. Good. Two more volunteers. Hi. All right, Armando. And Diana. Can I Oh yes, yes, of course. Let's let's listen to Diana and then we go with Catherine and another person. Yes. Well. Okay, Diana, go. Hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. Yeah. I'm coming from Australia. Australia. I'm at a conference conference in Sydney. Remember. Okay. All right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. and it's 4 o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, 4 o'clock in the morning. 4 a.m.? Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay. I'm awake now. All right. Very good. Okay, we got Catherine and another person who helps Catherine, please. It can be another lady, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. It can, it can say, oh, this is and your real name, right? Actually, we can use the real names and we can use the real cities, like San Salvador. Imagine if a friend calls you from Italy or from Australia, of course, it's gonna be a very different time. Because Los Angeles is very similar to Los Angeles, just an hour difference, right? 
Uh -huh. No, y le va a ayudar a Catherine. A la una. No, sí. <ríe> One. Okay. Selena. Ok, cool. Go. ¿Quién va a ser qué? Usted es Selena. Uh, no. You are Selena and you are calling from Australia and you are at a conference, ¿ok? Ok. Ok, Catherine, you can start. Hello. Eh, teacher, ¿y vamos a cambiar los nombres o cómo? Yes. <risa> ah, no, así no había practicado. <risa> Cuando yo le diga hello, te diga hi, Catherine. Dice Selena, I'm calling for this is todo. Oh, ya, yeah, otra vale, vez, ready. Okay. Solo, solo los nombres cambiamos. Uh -huh. One more time, okay, Catherine. Otra vez. <laughs> One, two, three. Catherine, se nos fue. Where are you? Catherine, say hello. Yes, me. Say hello. Me está sacando Zoom. Ay, es su nombre. <ríe> Justo cuando Quiero va a participar en esta <ríe> casa. Vaya, one, two, three. Eh, ¿Empiezo yo? Uh -huh. o, o, ¿Cómo fue? Ok, hello. Hi, Catherine. This is... Selena, I am holding from Australia. Australia? Um, at a conference in Sydney, remember? All right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. and it's 4 o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes. Four o'clock in the morning. Four a.m. Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay. I am awake now. Bravo. Good. Bye. Eso era nada más como para introduce la hora. Vamos a ver. Con toda la honestidad del mundo. <laughs> Así, ay no, ¿qué es eso? Con toda la honestidad del mundo, escriban en el chat si se saben o no saben usar el reloj de aguja. Porque el que tiene el numerito, por favor. Y ahora todavía es digital. Ajá, en el chat. I can use the clock, I can't. Yes, I can. All right, yes, yes. Tenemos varios pies. Thank God. No se me hace sentir mejor. No están tan, no están tan mal. <ríe> le digo la generación de ahorita. Y así. No, no sé. Y no me interesa aprender a usar. Así. Literal. Los teenagers. Es como. No, ¿y para qué? No salen los números. Pues? O sea, I don't need. Dicen así, literalmente, ¿para qué me voy a esforzar contando cinco minutos por cada, por cada línea? They don't. I can't, I can't, I can't. Vaya. Noticia, buena y mala. Los que se lo saben en español, pues se les va a facilitar más en inglés. Y los que no, pues, como aprendérselo de cero, si sí, se le pone así como dicen... Esmero, sí, lo, aprende, lo aprende a usar, pero en English, en Spanish, I don't know. Es tal cual en Spanish. Five minutes each line, and hay como las, las horas clave, digamos. Las que son o'clock, ya sabemos que es en punto. En, es, en Spanish lo mismo existe, en punto. Uno dice, ah, son las seis en punto. Son las cuatro en punto, right? So that is o'clock. After significa después de tal hora. For example, de, de acá. si aquí ya pasaron cinco minutos, 
está así la, la aguja de los minutos, está en el number one, no es que ha pasado un minuto, ya pasaron cinco minutos, right? Five minutes. Entonces decimos, is one or is five oh, past five. one? Is five after one. Este after también lo podemos utilizar como past. O sea, que ya pasó cinco minutos después de la hora. Yes, or after. Generalmente los americans dicen after. It's a quarter after one. It's five after one. It's ten after one. Hasta que no llegue a la media hora. Yes. Los británicos usualmente sustituyen la palabra after con past. Y aquí dirían, it's five past one. <laughs> right? Ah, aquí está fácil porque tiene el número, right? It's one fifteen. Sin embargo, también tenemos dos opciones. It's one fifteen or it's a quarter after one. Aquí también se me olvidó explicar la otra opción, que es, it's one oh five. Yes? It's one, la hora, and five minutes. It's one oh five. So it's one fifteen or it's a quarter after one. También podríamos decir it's fifteen after one. Yes. Here it's one thirty. Thirty is thirty. So it's one thirty. O podríamos sustituir por media hora, que sería half. 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 Yeah, it's one and a half. Like two and a half men. Teacher. Yes. Y ahí se podría el half past. Half past one. Sí, de hecho para los británicos es lo más común. It's half past one. <laughs> yes. Or it's half after one. Aunque no es tan común. Ya. Yeah. Lo más común es decir la hora y 30 minutos. It's one thirty, it's seven thirty, it's four thirty. Eso sí es very, very common. Ok. Cuando ya el, la de los minutos ha pasado de la media hora, empiezan como en regresión a contar los minutos que faltan para la siguiente hora. Yes. For example, si es 1.40, sí, perfectamente puedo decir 1.40 o como en español, ¿cuánto falta para la siguiente hora? Yes. Es 20 to 2. O sea, que faltan 20 para las dos. Yes, y aquí suena divertido. 22. I know. Pero podría ser, por ejemplo, ahorita, what time is it? In real life. ¿Cuánto falta para las nueve? Uh -huh. It's 8 to 9. Ok, it's 7 to 9. Yes. Or it's 8 to 9. Ya, es como cuánto falta. 54. Ah, okay, exactly. Podría decir es A52. Es A53, right? Pero como me queda como más sencillo decir, ah, quedan dos minutos, quedan tres minutos, quedan diez minutos para las nueve, right? So it's 10 to 9. It's 7 to 9, right? It's 1.45. Cuando han pasado 45 minutos, ¿cuánto falta para la siguiente hora? It's a quarter. It's a quarter to two. Yes. It's one forty-five. It's a quarter to two. Yes. Y lo más común, obviously, what time is it? Pero digamos que tiempo moderno, la gente no está preguntando la hora. Sino que por lo general le van a preguntar a qué hora es la, la, la reunión, a qué hora es la videoconferencia, a qué hora. So what time is the meeting? What time is? The class, what time is the video conference, right? What time is the gathering? What time is y el evento? Yes, porque eso sí es como, como más relevante, más que preguntar la hora, más que solo el simple what time is it, right? ¿Qué hora es ahorita? Pero si tuviéramos que preguntar, what time is it? Aquí ya lo dan Yeah, it's 20, it's 20, 20 after, after 2. Or it's 2.20. Yeah, 
la dos y veinte, right? It's two twenty. No decimos como it's two and twenty. Aunque okay. es válido, pero like lo más común es que digamos la hora y los minutos. O sea, el número de la hora y el número de los minutos, right? It's two twenty. Number two, what time is it? It's ten to seven. It's ten to seven. Mm -hmm. Or it's six fifty, right? Aunque lo más común es que aquí ya solo quedan 10 minutos para la cena. Yes, it's 10 to 7. Number 3, what time is it? 15 to 9. 15 to 9. 15 to 9. It's 15 to 9, 15 to 9 or 9 or quarter to 9. It's a quarter to 9. Number 4. 11 or 5. 11.05 or 5? Past. After, After 11. 11. Yes. And the number 5? 3.15. It's 3.15? Or a quarter? Quarter after 3. A quarter after 3. Yes. It's a quarter after 3. And the last one? Four and a half or four? Thirty. 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 Yes, it's for thirty. Yes, aquí no tenemos para donde, ¿verdad? It's for thirty or it's four and a half. Half past four. Excuse my neighbor's dog. <laughs> it's not even my dog, it's my neighbor's dog. Can you listen to it? It's very loud. All right. So, voy a compartir un link para que practiquemos un poco lo de las, lo de la hour, lo del time. Dale un segundito, just one second. Hmm. I was checking this one. Me confirma si pueden abrir el link, please. Se lo comparto acá en el chat de Zoom o el chat de WhatsApp. Which one do you prefer? WhatsApp, right? WhatsApp. Ajá, siempre me da como más. Check it out. Mm, yes, I mean. Bye. Yes. Van a tener que ir haciendo el match de la time and solo arrastrarlo nada más, right? Mm -hmm. Lo pueden resolver now y me dicen cuánto se sacaron. <laughs> Easy. I can move it. Arrastrarlo. Click on it y yeah. arrastra. Hace el clock. Creo que uno está más obvio cuál es la horaria y cuál es la de los minutos, right? Which is the hand for the hour and which is the hand for the minutes and then finish and check Finish? No yet. In progress. Okay. It's still working. <laughs> Ouch. Okay. Continue working. Ahí les queda. Cuando terminen, mandan el screenshot, please. Okay, Miss. <laughs> I have to go. I gotta go. I have another class. See you tomorrow. God bless you. Bye, Miss. Bye. Bye. Good, Good night. night. Bye. See you tomorrow. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.
Bye. Bye. See you.